Missouri Business Today, this week's development news. Hi, I'm Amy Susan, Communications Director for the Missouri Department of Economic Development. 2015 has officially come to a close, and we are taking a look back on yet another great year for economic development in Missouri. Last year, the state partnered with 58 companies to announce their Show Me State expansions, together creating more than 5,700 new jobs and investing more than $473 million to grow the state's economy. And those numbers don't even tell the whole story, as they include only companies that partnered with the state to announce their expansions and do not encompass all the great work that other companies undertook independently to grow last year. Another indicator of Missouri's growing economy can be found in the state's recently released December 2015 General Revenue Report, which found that sales and use tax collections for 2016 fiscal year to date have increased 3.1% for the year, reaching more than $1 billion. This figure also saw monthly growth of over 4%. Rising sales tax figures are a good gauge of a thriving business community. As more citizens spend money buying goods and services, local firms reap the benefits. The state's growing automotive sector is also helping to drive our economy. According to a new industry analysis conducted by the Missouri Economic Research and Information Center, the state's two major auto manufacturers, Ford and GM, and their combined 11,000 plus workers, together with their local suppliers, supported 42,000 direct and indirect jobs and more than $5 billion in gross domestic product last year alone. The study also found that since 2010, at least 64 of these companies that supply parts to Ford Ford and GM have added or announced plans to add more than 4,800 jobs and make over $745 million in direct capital investments. And more jobs calls for more educated workers, which Missouri is producing. According to new data from the U.S. Department of Education, the state's four-year high school graduation rate has increased yet again, rising to 87.3% in the 2013 and 14 school year from 85.7% in the 2012 and 13 school year. This rate is significantly higher than the national average of 82.3 and ranks among the top 10 in the nation. This news is great for both job seekers and the employer community as it signifies a competitive recruitment pool of workers ready to fill open positions. In this week's tech news, two St. Louis bioscience companies were recently selected to receive a portion of a $7.5 million grant from the Israel-U.S. Binational Industrial Research and Development Foundation to promote collaboration and innovation between U.S. and Israel companies. The selected companies include medical device maker Mag Biosense and ag tech firm Forest Innovations, which will now both be eligible to access up to $1 million to aid technology discoveries in their fields. These companies are part of a huge, world-renowned Missouri bioscience community, with the state currently home to the largest concentration of plant scientists per capita in the world. And that is Missouri Business Today. For the full news coverage, be sure to visit MissouriBusinessToday.com.